Hello, Flamingo fam. Thank you so much for checking out another one of our Carnival Mardi Gras food reviews. This is Linda and Aaron with Traveling Flamingo, and today we're taking you to one of the newest restaurants from Carnival Cruises called Chebang. There are over 20 restaurants on the Mardi Gras, and we tried them all. We're going to tell you everything you need to know about Chebang, so you can decide if this restaurant is one you want to spend your time at. All that and more, coming right up. With so many great restaurants, it can be hard to decide which ones you want to try. Chebang is a brand new restaurant which is a mix of Chinese and Mexican. The word Chebang actually means wing in Mandarin. While exploring the Carnival Mardi Gras, you can't miss Chebang as it has a massive red entrance. It has a very modern and elegant feel with its minimalist design, floor to ceiling windows and gorgeous details like the ceiling. We came here for lunch and dinner and really enjoyed the views at lunch and at dinner they sometimes had a Chinese dragon dance. As it's a brand new restaurant, right now it can only be found on the Carnival Mardi Gras and the sister ship, the Carnival Celebration. You can find Chebang on Deck 8, right near the Havana Bar. This was dangerous for us as we often walked by here because we were staying in the Havana. If you want to know more about the Havana or other Carnival dining options, we have tons of videos so you can check this one out when you're done. So let's take a look at the menu. The lunch menu and the dinner menus are not the same, but both offers a great variety of Chinese and Mexican dishes. We liked it so much we had lunch here and then came back for dinner and loved them both. The menu was split into Chinese and Mexican and you can enjoy mixing and matching. The lunch menu is mainly Chinese noodle bowls and Mexican burrito bowls. The dinner menu is a lot larger with appetizers and different mains to choose from. There is also a variety of specialty cocktails and drinks you can choose from as well. These are not included and range from $7.50 to $10.50. So let's take a look at what we had. I was thankful to be there with my sister because believe it or not we're actually pretty good at sharing. We each order different things and then split it so we get to try lots of different food. For lunch they'll ask you if you want a Mexican or Chinese menu. From the Mexican one we had the polo burrito bowl which is chicken, poblano, mushrooms, lettuce, avocado crema, red beans, tres queso and pico de gallo. It was very good. You could tell it was made fresh to order. The chicken was cooked really well and the lettuce was still nice and crisp. From the Chinese one we had the shrimp stir fry which is rice noodles, peas, greens, garlic chilies, crunchy peanuts and basil. I'm a sucker for noodles and it was really good. For dessert we tried the flan caramel and the churro ye helado. I'm sorry for all of my pronunciation. One of the reasons we wanted to go back for dinner was because we love queso and all the app options they have. So we got the queso fondito which was so good. We love the pot stickers. But the super loaded nachos were just okay compared to the other appetizers. We did really enjoy both the lunch and the dinner options and at lunch you can customize your bowl which is great. When we go back I'll definitely be going back for dinner just because I love those appetizers so much. In terms of value and price, originally Carnival had said Chebang would only be free for its inaugural year but we're now halfway into year two and it's still free. So they have us wondering if it will stay free or if they are going to make it a specialty dining location. Some people we've talked to wonder if they do take away some of the restaurants that are free for now like Chebang and La Cucina. Are the main dining room or is the main dining room going to be able to accommodate all these extra guests? So while it's free I would definitely be checking it out and we'll keep our eye on it to see if they do start charging and if they do will it be a flat rate or a la carte. One of the recommendations we have is to use the app to check in. Chebang can get really busy but you don't have to stand in a line in front of the restaurant. Carnival did a great job using the app having an option to check in ahead of time anywhere on the ship and then they'll send you a notification when your table is ready and you have 10 minutes to get to the restaurant. Carnival is all about the fun as we know so there's no reason to stop and stand in line just use the app and show up when your table is ready. And in terms of dress code, they're going to follow what the rest of the ship is following for that evening. Most nights are cruise casual, so you can wear shorts or long pants, dresses or jeans. There's just no flip flops, bathing clothes, basketball shorts or track suits. On the cruise elegant nights, men do need long pants and a polo short. You could wear a suit if you want. Women can wear dresses, pantsuits, or evening gowns. In addition to what was not allowed for the crew's casual nights, you also cannot wear shorts, t-shirts, jeans, or sportswear. But we did find the dress code to be pretty casual and left a lot of room for people to choose what they wanted and what they were comfortable with. Do you think Carnival should leave Chebang as an included restaurant or start charging for it? Do you have a favorite Carnival Cruise restaurant? 
Let us know in the comments below. We hope that you found this video helpful. Also, if you want some more of our content, we have another channel, Flamingos in Wonderland, where we talk about all things Disney and theme parks. Remember, memories are forever, so make them fabulous. Thanks again for watching and happy travels. Very modern and elegant feel while it's with ink. I'm having a hard time reading the words today.